long as two adults are but, cool. Uh, I'm, and I'm, I don't want to get in trouble out there, but I just want to propose an idea. Okay, right? propose. Is why 18? Why is that number? Yeah, because you know a thousand years ago, whenever it happened it was, in yeah, America, it didn't exist. right? There was some sort of meeting, mm-hmm. right? And a b- bunch of dudes got together and go, all right, let's make the white dudes. White dudes a right? bunch of white like, weirdos. Let's make the, the a- legal age 18. And you know there was one guy in the back. Who goes, they go, uh, uh, 16? <laughs> Sixteen. Let's just throwing it out there. Uh, my my wife is nine. Could we maybe skew it lower in some places? Yeah. Like, is your mom and your dad are they brothers and sisters or something? They're cousins. Yeah. They're cousins. Are they really? Yeah. Yeah, Bob. My parent. My fucking parents are cousins. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me, man, because I'm telling you right now. Wouldn't that- surprise me if your family was cousins too. You guys all look the same. At least we look different. Also, just FYI. Yeah. Her dad's a lawyer. Her stepdad's a lawyer. For Why are we paying you? I'm not going to pay her anymore. Shut up. She used to live like Rose from, from 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, for, uh, with the pigs and stuff? Yeah, she remembers it. When her dad was going through law school and all that stuff, she was they had over. no, right? They had bo- shit in a bucket. Used to poop in a bucket? No. Wait, wait, wait get closer to the mic. <laughs> no. Did you have, so in that old house you were living in, did you have a toilet that flushed? No. See, that's what I'm saying. The Where does it? But we don't poo in a bucket. Where do you poo then? In the ground, in a hole in the ground. <laughs> it's a broken um, toilet. It's a bro- so it's, it's a broken toilet. Yeah. Where do, so does it? So just let it build up in the fucking toilet. It doesn't fucking flush. What are you talking you, about? You just um, take a bucket of water and then yeah, push it down, and the gravity takes care oh, of it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Yeah. It is civilized. <laughs> <laughs> you win. So can it, I finish my sentimental thing? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I might laugh. You can. All right, go ahead, finish it. Someone in my family's not doing well. They might be dying. Are you going to laugh? Are you laughing at a dead family member? I'm sorry. I might. Love your don't, family. Don't reach smile. out to wait, them. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not. Start from the top. Let's do this. Let's do this, okay? Honestly. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Because I want to know if you're really sincere. I am. All right. So if you're going to do this little fucking monologue, okay. right? You cannot be fucking smirking. Bro. All right, I won't smirk. Regardless of what I'm doing. Okay, fine. Here we right? go. Right, so it's like, if and it, once you start smirking, I'm going to end it, and you don't get to fucking tell it. Fine. All right, so here we go. And I'm going to do a little setup, all right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, and a message from Sir. <laughs> well, let me start from the top. Well, don't right. fuck it up <laughs> off the jump. I know. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, a heartfelt message from Sir Andrew Santino. Hi, America. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Just try, try it again. Try it again. That was the first I'll let you go. Okay. I'll let you, right? Ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. a heartfelt message from Sir Andrew Santino. <laughs> Just keep going. The Chinese put us in a bad position recently. <laughs> I'm done. You can. I completely and mm. utterly support this kind of stuff. Yeah, and also I, I really I'm really love say this, this right kind of now. Stuff. Andrew Santino's mom does not live underneath our house. So, yeah, you know I mean, why would I have the Santinos underneath the house? <laughs> Fat fucking uglies. <laughs> What'd you just say? Nothing, man. Just let it go. It was a joke. Let it go, man. Let it go. <laughs> Somebody had a great phrase to me. Somebody said, this, this, during the time of this virus, we'll find out who cares about their backyard as much as people care about their front yard. That's I don't, a, that's I don't a, really understand that. Explain it to me. It means, are you going to try to contribute and care about other humans, or are you only going to care about yourself? But what has, what's the backyard? Your backyard means because you connect with neighbors. Like, do you care about those around you and in your community? Do you care? It's a metaphor for saying, like, are my, you going to use back, this? My specific, my not, specific, it's a metaphor. Are you going to use this My time? specific backyard, Yeah, though. you it's don't have one. It's fenced and stuff. You don't have one. It's fenced. Okay. But above, beyond there's the no fence, one. there's other people. All right, so it's say beyond. Beyond the backyard. We're going to find out during this virus <laughs> you know whether you mean? care about people, whether you care it. about your community. Don't or... ever use that reference again. Just say whatever you're going to say. The phrase made perfect. Didn't you get the fucking phrase? It's a metaphor saying, do you care about your community or do you just care about your house? It's like s- s- cleaning my side of the street when they say that. That's the same exact thing. Yeah. Do you only care about cleaning your side of the street? There we go. Then that, that, this, okay. I understand that one. Because you, you, you do, don't you? You only sweep your side of the street. Are you fucking out of your mind? Go away. We're crows. <laughs> 
But I, that's fucking racist. By the way, the, the thing about the Wilbur that's going to be incredible for me is I tape my half hour for Comedy Central across the street at the Royale Theater. And a, and at the at the same time that I was there, across the street was Fortune Feimster playing the Wilbur. Wow. And I was like, damn, dude, she's fucking killing she's it. She's killing it. She was killing it. And that's when I did my half hour. That was, I think it was, I'm almost positive she was there. She was coming at least. But dude, I, I just, I, it was, that was. Thank you for being, <laughs> thank you for being a bad friend. No. Yeah. No. Thank you for being a bad friend. Yeah. Thank you. We don't want to hear fucking your Wilbur Comedy Central story, okay? Who gives a shit? Oh, I, I shot my special there. And then, you know what? Fortune Feature was across the street. It was great. She's wonderful. She's doing great. Get, thank you for being a bad friend. That's what happens when you end it. It's like, oh, yeah, um, I was playing Philadelphia once. I have a story, too. I was playing Philadelphia once, and then, like, um, Chappelle was across the street. It was great. Thank you for being a bad friend. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Oh, you, oh yeah, you're going to tell us that story? Uh, you, let's write a script on it. That's how exciting it is. It's a new movie. You show up, you know, in Boston, right? You, all the cameras are set up, and all of a sudden you're doing the show, and then fucking fortunes on the, across the street. And then that's the climax of the movie. It's going to be great. We can fucking get all kinds. Tom Hardy will be in it. You know, it's like, why don't you learn how to play, tell a story, friend? Huh? There's got to be a point. Yeah. So anyway, when you did that, when you fucking did that, in my head, I was like, emergency, emergency, fucking, you know what I mean? Emergency shoot, right? Thank you for being a friend, friend bad friend. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. And I know you had a lapse, a lapse in thought and judgment. And you thought, I, I don't, there's dead, dead air here. I'm going to throw out this fucking story that I think is a story, but it isn't. So I, you know, you're allowed to make mistakes, but that was a dumb story. And um, you, you're going to get angry. You're going to, you're going to do what you'd usually do. Right. And snap and just throw something or scream or, but let's just let let it go, and let's just end the fucking podcast. Thank you for being a bad friend. I think we should, because if that's what your fucking instinct is right now, fuck face. All right, we're trying to make this podcast a number one, friend. All right, so just, you know, we might even have to cut that whole portion out. What do you think, pal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're getting rageful and angry. You don't know what to do. Go within yourself, dude. A life not self-examined is a life not worth living. All right? So just examine yourself. You fucked up. And let's end the podcast right now, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? What you gonna do? Let's move on, dude. Look in the camera. <laughs> Look, in the ca <laughs> Look in the camera. Thank you for being... If you don't do this, we're gonna have a very big problem. Uh, what? Go ahead. <laughs> you thought that was a good story? <laughs> you thought? You thought? You thought? You thought that was a good story? I, I, if I had that fucking BB gun right now, I would shoot you in the fucking eye, friend. All right. So let's what? Get it off your chest. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. We good? Let's just get, end it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that what you want to hear? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. More. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I, 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 I want to say that, number one, you're a good stand-up. You're a very good storyteller. Mm -hmm. And that um, I would also have to say that I think you drive this podcast. Mm -hmm. I think you prepare. You have bits that we do on the show. I come here not prepared. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to say. Yeah. And I should put a lot more energy into doing this um, this podcast. And I want to say that you're the foundation of this thing. And the reason why it's a success is because of you. Yeah. And I want to thank you. But that story 
was the worst story I've ever heard. That pot, Comedy Central thing, and it was so fucking dumb. But other than that, you're the greatest. I'm sorry. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being, being a, a bad, bad friend. friend.